day two of the RB build. Here we go. And today it is getting the birthday of its lifetime. A whole bunch of new parts we've gone and spent. About Probably about four hundred dollars. Four or five hundred dollars worth of parts here for the RB. Most RB owners do not do this, but if you want it to run good and last, it's the way to go. So the engine's been freshly rebuilt. Apparently. So obviously we want to drop the oil, change that, run it up properly, run it in, and then change the oil again, so we know it's all fresh. Um, new filters. New filters. We got wiring relays and all sorts to make switches for the fuel pump and the injector because we're just going to run a dedicated feed to the harness there um, pump out all the old gas stale stuff uh, put fresh stuff in got a fuel filter there what else we got oh it's got no waste going on at the moment so we're just going to block it off we just quickly weld it up a plate there until we can find the wastegate for it, but that'll stop the exhaust leak in the meantime. And yeah, we've got, as you can see, it's got a oil leak. The turbo drain has got a split in the hose, so we're just gonna replace that hose. And yeah, just other small stuff, and then we'll be able to run it up, run it in, and then go for the run. Got the Evo out today, and the sun's out, unlike yesterday. Dig into it the wheel out of this RB that looks very black for a freshly rebuilt motor not the one not, not, the, not the greatest but we'll freshen it up with some new wheel so the turbo drain had a big kink in it so I've just shortened that now so it actually flows down and can drain properly so we've just started to replace this radiator hose because um, someone's decided they want to tape it up by the looks of it to stop it from leaking it's not what we're about here so got a brand new one Repco had it on the shelf it was like twenty dollars twenty dollars or blow up your engine because you're too lazy to go and buy a new hose well done shout out to Gates for the Shit. radiator hose good quality good quality highly recommend so it seems to have a big crack in the manifold and there's been heat wrap used on it just to try Stop the exhaust leak. So it's got some number eight wire there. Whack that off, take the heat wrap off, and we'll see where it's cracked and try weld it up. Just eliminating the basic stuff. So we just got this cheap shell stuff. It's a 10 weight 40 grade oil. Uh, this is what we're going to be using for the um, just the initial run in, just to flush out any particles that may have been. Um, you know, we're building the engine and whatnot. We, we don't know who built it or anything like that, so we're just not taking any chances. Cheap oil, run it for 20 minutes. And now we've got Magnatech stop start fuel, 10 weight 30. It's a lighter weight oil. And she goes, fresh oil for the RB. So, underneath the RB at the moment, LR33. It's got, um, previous owner looked like they've heat wrapped the uh, manifold. But it's got oil through it when the, from when the car caught on fire. When we started it last night, um, it was smoking real hard. So we're just going to get rid of all this heat wrap that's got covered in oil. And then um, degrease everything and do it that way just so we know it's all mint and there's no issues. Don't want it to catch on fire again. Not far off starting it now. We're just tightening up all the coil packs properly, putting bolts instead of just one bolt in it doing things properly and yeah we'll hook up the timing light set the timing with the cam angle sensor and see how it runs see what we have to fix from there so we're just wiring up this temperature gauge here RBs are pretty commonly known to you know at high RPM overheat especially when you're running factory fan without a shroud it's got a viscous on it but we're just wiring it into the factory sensors by the looks of it yep over here and it should be for a 30 dollar gauge might save my engine if something does go wrong so important to have good gauges well done Itself. It's holding 
of that 2k rev to run it in. No leaks this time. And once it's warmed up, we can set the cast properly. But it's sounding healthy. Yeah, we need a relay, 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 bro. Bloody mints. Runs smooth as, runs by itself, idles by itself. Had a small vacuum leak, but we've fixed it up with the vacuum line there. And yeah, water temp got to halfway, so that's all good. So yeah, we'll just probably ch check over a few things. No oil leak. Dump the oil, change the filter, and we're ready for a run. Run! So what we have here is the fuel pump relay. So we're just bridging it off, that'll run the fuel pump constantly. And we can drain all the shitty stuff out. That is right. And then we'll put the fresh 98 in. Good to go. Just changing this, so... Pressurised. Side cutters. Is... Where you are. Alright, bridge you're out. Are you ready to go? Yeah, Mark. Hey. Is it on? Might need to turn the key. Is our car on? That did not come to Hmm. Here is our... I think we have a problem. It's yeah, going before. Hold on. Is the car in the on position? We have a fucking problem. Yeah, yep, yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, we are hissing. We're good. Is it working good? Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. It's fucking hissing. It's pouring out. Yeah. All that yuck stuff. There we go. Yeah, bridge the Bridge the relay. Oh, no. Hang on, Get this food. stuff out of here. Yeah, might need some more containers. I'm out the front. Is it? No. Shut up then. Don't need your input. Max. Thoughts? Oh. Cheers, mate. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit, you nearly fell, Mark. Oh, oh Mark. Nick of time. What a run. Alrighty, just got the stale fuel out, so we're just putting the fresh 98 in now. So then we can start it back up. Be nice and thirsty for some fresh fuel. Run it up, check over. Go through the gears. Go through the gears, and then we'll go for a run. And we'll go through the gears again on the ground. And go on for a run. <laughs> and we will also. Mate, sitting down doing nothing once again. And you do, mate. Well, Take the here. fuel filter off, mate. Change that. Good to go again. You're not ready. No. Putting much effort into this RB build, eh, mate? Exactly. Just pulling the fuel filter off. Must be heavy. Here we go. Oh, not the one. Probably lots of crap in that fuel filter. Now we get the new one. Oh, that's filthy. That's <laughs> dirty. Is it really dirty? Yeah, it's nice. That's it's probably like never been changed and it's, it's um... Yes. Like one way in the end of the Yes. Is it syrupy? Oh, it's all syrupy in like... 22 years. Someone's tried to... Someone's tried to um, look inside there. It's You can see it dripping in. Oh, it's still on the concrete? That's yuck. Filthy, filthy. It's like rusty as... It's all one. black and right. yuck. Oh. That's why you replace your fuel. Come on, guys. Fire-wise. This is what happens when <laughs> SR guys work on RBs. Everything's done right. Properly. Out. Not half ass. Right. Take that out now. Put the proper relay in. Well done. Smooth as. Right. Yeah, usually the kiss is always like halfway. What's it at? Oil pressure gauge? Yeah. yeah What's no. it reading? It's reading. Oh, man. 100. Oh, yeah. We've got oil pressure. Nice. Well done. Yeah. Oh, no oil leaks. It was reading before. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Smooth as running. Let's give it a bit of a you seem satisfied. Hold on. For the lift. <laughs> <laughs> you need to watch out for the fan. Got him. The old viscous fan got him. For the lift to take there, but it's normal. Ah, it sounds give it, give it a, healthy. A good oil pressure. Get the rev. Hey? Get the rev. This other thing is nice. Running it in at 2k revs at the moment. Get the temperature up, recheck the timing. Be sweet. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't get it. Oh no! Hey, I got the other video and the fucking. Ugh. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Bleeding the rock. Hard to look in there, eh? Look at that. That's, that's naughty. Yuck. <laughs> oh, look! It's a flush out front. Well, we ran it up for a little while. Temperature got up to about 100 degrees. Yeah, he's um, growing some plant. He's growing some some kind yes. of fish in here. It doesn't look too fresh in the cooling system. <laughs> Straight up, he's used creek water or something. <laughs> <laughs> some him. kind of algae. He's got some kind of algae. The radiator is boiling hot. The top hose is hot. The bottom hose is cold. So we take the thermostat. The thermostat might be jammed closed. So it's we're going to take it out. Creek water in here. Um, flush out the whole system and go from there. Yeah, that's normal for RB, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just getting hot first, mate. So. <laughs> Could have been leftover stuff from the last build or yeah, anything. That blew up, cooked, but yeah, that's our situation now. The Whack that thermostat out. Let's take the thermostat off. What's going on down here? Ah. What is taking so long to undo the thermostat <laughs> bolts? Come no, on, you need to do it because I have had enough. Mate, you the you light are bigger, mate. Everyone's no. starting to get sick of our bees. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys. Oh, brother. <laughs> you much gay fry. Alright, so we didn't have much success trying to bleed us up. Purely because the um, off, thermostat isn't up. actually opening, so, so someone freshly rebuilt this motor but didn't replace any part of the cooling system. So, so you can see the corrosion and stuff. That's not good at all. We've just put boiling water in there, and the thermostat will not open. So now we've got to replace it and probably flush this cooling system because it just oh, foggy schematics. <laughs> Turned the shit big time and the engine turned itself off because it got too hot it decided it's had enough. Is it bang on the radiator yet? No, that's what I just oh, said to oh, you. Come on! Fuck's sake, man! <laughs> you guys are not gonna help, you guys can all just go home and go to the Mate, we're losing daylight here. This Arby still hasn't doing, left mate? the ground. Play tunes, mate. Get out. I cannot get the ground. Mate, don't worry, get it's it. it's get stuffed. It. 
Oh, how's that radiator? Free oh. flow system, mate. We don't need a thermostat mate, anymore. We're just cocking fish bites here because it fucking stinks. Where's <laughs> Sea Lord, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be flavored. All right. Chelsea, put that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's flavored, all right. He got some in his mouth. I got some in my mouth. Oh, good to know she's not stuffed. She starts up again. So this time we'll bleed it with no buggered thermostat. Right Get all the air locks out. Got a bit of a disco going on here too. Disgusting cooling system. Once we get on the ground and roll it out, we'll probably flush it out with the hose. Jared, in the car? What about now? It should be about 8.50. Is that 8.50? 8? It's always doing here, just checking the timing while it's hot. Oh, sorry, I should say, setting the hot. Yeah, it's about 8.50. Yeah, it's about 8.50. Yeah, 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 about Put her on the ground and we can go for the first drive. Yep. Are you happy, mate? Really good. Place <laughs> timing set, so bing bing. Runs quite well, actually. I'm really surprised. Can we remove <laughs> Then bring your light over here, just make sure you've got enough water. We'll be yeah. Take the cap off. On the deck she goes. Sweet. What the hell is that? You can see it. Ready for the first run. Nice. It moves, it moves. Ah, oh, does good. Shit, that's <laughs> Good stuff. What is that? Open the gate. Oh, 
it moves. Good stuff, lads. Quick inspection. That's good. Get a feel, get a look. No major oil leaks underneath. It's cold, man. It's running real cold. That's good. Uh, slight oil leak, but nothing major. Sweet. Oh, Take oh, it for a bin. Sounds like <laughs> the boat. Oh, no power <laughs> steering, too. Nah. She's armed, eh? You don't need power steering, mate, when you got drift pick, mate. More control. Yeah, for that hold reverse on. Nah, oh, some just jumped out. out on me a couple of times. Shift this, <laughs> <laughs> So the intercooler mm. pipe popped off as it went for a Shut boost. up, cows! <laughs> <laughs> so pop that back on, we just need a hose clamp and we're good to go. But other than that, feels good. Making some serious yeah. power. Yeah. Dosing. Hang on. Have a quick inspection. This was alright, this wasn't having the fans. It's running cold, eh? Yeah, it's good. Well done. Yeah. She's recording. <laughs> <laughs> The truck's coming back to us. Tap of the hump in the road, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Your Evo got smoke on it. Yeah, this truck's fully following us. I don't know. Let's go see where we're going today. We've got a bit of heat behind us. Skyline's got heat. Really, around the corner. Dose. <laughs> That's me, no, no, fucking silly. That doses, man. How you like that dose, brother? Better chuck the lights in, eh? Go for a run with them in the bottom. Oh, there we go. Got the Skyline tail lights that everyone likes. This one going? Yeah, it might clip her in. Oh, mate, I don't know about this. Uh, oh, yeah, that's enough for a good time. Yeah, three is it. <laughs> yep. Sweet. Three's a good number. I did buy What's that one? Yeah, you know, slap, slap through. Yeah, I think this one's blowing. Oh, she's getting better and better every second. Where's the bolts at? Yeah. The car that didn't go. It was a big risk getting this thing, but it's paid off now. Yeah, these back seats aren't all too bad. Awesome, Got man. the extinguisher here. Run number three. Find it. Flapping away. Like a champ, no way. Like, this is really good oil pressure. 
it makes that second run as well. Yeah. Yeah, we will get used to it. <laughs> oh, <wee! laughs> The dose. This wrong?